Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. So I'm coming to you with another concealer review and it is going to be on the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Full Coverage Concealer. Alright, this is what it looks like. Beautiful packaging. I'll get into the logistics first as we always do. So this concealer is the baby or not baby, I guess partner to the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Longwear Liquid Foundation that Urban Decay released. Um, this is, this came out last year, if I'm not mistaken, came out last year. This is a full coverage waterproof longwear foundation, like legit, legit. I really enjoy this foundation. I'm in the shade 12.0. So when they came out with a concealer, I was like, okay, natural instinct, let's go. Also, I love concealer. And this claims to be, again, full coverage and waterproof. Let's Get it together. This retails for $29. I got mine at Sephora. And the shades are... I probably should look that up. This concealer comes in 14 shades. And yeah, it's the sister to the... Or the partner to the foundation. Alright. Um, let's get into it. Make sure I got all the logistics out of the way. I got the shade Dark Warm. Uh, that's the shade that I swatched in store. There wasn't a shade, while 12.0 in the foundation matches my skin perfectly, there wasn't a shade of concealer that matched my skin perfectly. And that bothers me, and it, it bothers me, it bothers me for reasons that aren't my problem. I like my concealers, like if I'm buying a concealer, I always would like to try two. One my skin tone, one that's, that's lighter, to brighten and highlight and, you know, do my whole spiel. However, everyone doesn't want a brightening because everybody wants, some people just want a concealer to conceal, to do just that to match their skin tone. It is a pet peeve of mine when concealers and foundations do not have the same amount of shades. It just bothers me. So anyway, this dark warm, which is even labeled the same way the foundations are, the foundations are labeled in decimal numbers. These are labeled in words and, and tones and uh, whatever. Um, this one is definitely, it's closest to my skin tone. Uh, but it's definitely not a perfect match like the foundation. So I'll show it to you. Dark Warm is the shade. It's really, really warm. Um, that's one thing I want to say. Uh, this this concealer, I guess I'm starting with the negatives. Uh, this concealer is very warm. And I, this is dark warm, but it's extra warm. Um, almost a little orangey. However, it does not oxidize. And this color is what you get. So when you blend it out on top with your powder, that's how you're going to look for the rest of the day. So I can definitely appreciate that. Like, it doesn't get worse. It doesn't get Oompa Loompa on you. Um... Yeah, so this is full coverage. It is. I can I can attest to that. This is a wonderful, wonderful full coverage concealer. It is thick. It is creamy. You guys, if you've been watching me, if you're new, welcome. I love thick, full coverage, creamy concealers. I I I do. Um this is one of those those concealers that if you find one that matches your skin tone, you could use it for foundation. It is one of those that, um, just like the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, you can use that as foundation. A lot of people do. You could definitely use it as foundation or on your, um, like, spotting it. Spot it around and just do a powder. It's... It does it well. It, it does excellent for that. Uh, it does well being baked. You can bake, um, on top of... You can bake this concealer. I can't get words out. You can bake this concealer. It does just fine. I set it with a brightening powder, my Black Radiance powder. It reacted really well, really well with that. It didn't do anything funky that, yeah, I was worried about. Um, <laughs> I'm going to slow down. I know people watching me like, this girl's talking so fast. <sighs> slow it down, Candace. Slow it down. Now, what I will say, um, this does not do well with the foundation. Not in a sense of they they react with each other, but this is again a full coverage waterproof foundation. You have this full coverage waterproof concealer. You would think, yes, they would be the perfect match, but believe it or not, them together is a little bit too much. I mean, unless you have a really light hand, which I don't. I absolutely don't. This does a great job, the foundation, a great job of covering up everything. So when I wear this foundation, I don't need like a concealer to do extra work. I just put the concealer on to brighten and I highlight those areas with a lighter concealer. That's what I do. You don't need that extra concealing help. You don't with this foundation. It does a really good job of that. But then applying this 
this uh full coverage on top it you it's it's two thick layers that I don't think you necessarily need and I don't think necessarily makes it look any better than wearing this foundation with another concealer per se or thinner uh, concealer to highlight and that's just that's just my thoughts on it. However, I do enjoy it. Um, I would love to get a, br a brighter one. Y'all know me. If you don't know me, I conceal is my jam. Um, so one lighter. I wish they had these that match with the concealers because some people might, I mean, match with the foundations because some people would like their, you know, a set. Um... Yeah, also, you get 0.12 fluid ounces. You get 3.5 milliliters of concealer in here. For comparison, a concealer I just reviewed, uh, the, the Maybelline Age Rewind is 6.0 milliliters, 6 milliliters. Um, so you're getting almost, almost double here, and this is $7.50. I know we look at price per ounce sometimes. We look at the quality of it. If you're just needing concealer, just a good concealer, again, this Maybelline Age Rewind for $7.50 is, yeah, that's all you would need. This bad boy is $29. It's like, now, I am going to sit here, I'm going to tell you the truth. I have a pro discount with Urban Decay. I did not get this with the pro discount. I did not order it off Urban Decay. I went in Sephora because I didn't want to wait for anything, and I paid $29 for it. Um, am I more likely to purchase it with the pro discount? Yes, I will say that. However, <laughs> however... I don't regret paying $29 for it. However, it's still $29. Do you understand what I'm saying? The makeup reviewer in me and how good it is, I don't mind paying the $29, but I'd rather not. I guess, I don't know. I guess that makes sense. No one would, would want to pay that much if they had to, but it's like... I didn't go out of my way to use my pro discount for this, but now that I know... like. What am I trying to say? Now that I know, like, if I needed a backup, I would use my Pro. However, if I didn't have my Pro, I probably would still repurchase it, but I would still groan about the $29. It's right there. That's where this is right now. Sorry if that made no sense. It's it's uh, it's hard for me to talk about worth, how things are worth it for the price or whatever. And I'm getting better at it. <laughs> Stay with me here. Uh, but yes, you do get a little bit. I, I'm looking at, let me look at some other standard concealer tubes for example Colourpop's concealers are five to six dollars granted they are not um as pigmented but you get four grams you get four grams you get 0 0.14 ounces here you get 0 0.12 you still get less than a Colourpop concealer um Let's see, Kat Von D's concealer is like $26, and you get uh, 0.22 ounces. You you get a lot more. So you don't get a lot. You don't need a lot. A little can go a long way, but I still think, yeah, I don't, I don't know. You know, that one with the price, it's, it's going to be something that you have to decide with your wallet and with your pocketbook before you decide to run out and get it. So... Those are my thoughts on that concealer. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about any of the products mentioned in the video, feel free to leave them down below. I love you all and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.